Hey, this is Judgment Awaits with 3DayRespawn.com, and I've got a core team deathmatch on the map Village for you. And no matter which side of this map I spawn on, I always like coming over to this area. This is the area I'm comfortable with, and I always like to get in the person's spawn area and get behind them and whatnot, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, normally I'll run into somebody about right here, but yeah, this guy is actually sniping across the bridge. So I'm going to pick him up, and I get a good start on this. It, it's, it's just really important to have a good route that you're comfortable with that you can run get some kills, get behind them. It just throws the other team off and leaves them scratching their head. They're not sure what's going on because you're back in their spawn messing with them, especially in hardcore team deathmatch, especially if you're you're going against a clan or somebody that likes to hold an area. Now I'm looking at that sniper rock behind me because there's usually somebody there and I'm trying to figure out where they're spawning and, and whatnot. So I'm going to lay a claymore here and just uh, run around, leave it there. I don't know how many times that I get a kill later on in a match from a claymore that I just randomly place. It's like a little Christmas present that somebody finds. Uh, speaking of Christmas, how was yours? I uh, had a very low-key Christmas, and it was nice. You know, I only got, uh, I think I got a hooded sweatshirt. That was my gift for Christmas, but that was perfect. And uh, kept it very low-key with the kids and everything like that, and, and just really focused on spending some time with my family. I didn't even do any gaming, you know, around Christmas or anything like that. Um, so it was really nice, though. Ooh, and there you get a nice twofer. Get my attack helicopter. I think it gets shot down right away though. And I think I go on a nice little death streak right here. Now, I don't know about you, but I cannot believe 2011 is almost over. It is. This year has just gone crazy fast. And I think the older you get, the faster the years go. I don't know about you, but that just seems to be my experience. And so 2011 was just over in the blink of an eye. And I'm looking forward to 2012. I'm thinking about what resolutions I want to make and what I want to change in 2012. Uh, let me know if you're going to make any or if you're the person that just says, I don't do that. I just make changes whenever and don't need a specific date. I'm just curious to hear about that. Oh, and there, I, you know what? That is one of the things that bug me about that. And check this out, right? I get shot as soon as I spawn. I'm like, where am I getting shot from? And then that guy pops around there. So two quick deaths that kind of irritated me. First, I get knifed while I'm shooting a guy. And then that... Uh, the spawns in this game just seem to drive me nuts sometimes. But uh, back to New Year's resolutions. Let me know what you're going to be doing. I need to start working out more. I've had a shoulder injury. Uh, that's Boy, it's gone back a couple years now. and just doesn't seem to heal. I get a lot of bursitis there and whatnot, so it flames up and everything and causes me a lot of pain, even when I'm not working out or anything like that. So I've kind of got away from working out, but I need to do something. My walk with Christ is going well. But, you know, that's something that I guess you should probably never be satisfied with where you're at. You should always be trying to go deeper and, and whatnot. Uh, so, you know, as always, you know, whatever it is, uh, whatever part of my life in regards to that, I just want to live more by faith and less by uh, sight, you could say. You know, whether it's giving, whether it's what I'm doing, you know, ministry-wise and whatnot. So I definitely want to improve in that area. I guess I just don't want to be comfortable. I want to be doing things that I need to rely on him because, you know, in the past when I've done that, that those have been the times that I've really gone closer to him. But uh, those are my New Year's. What about you? Let me know. I love in core when you get shot that your health regenerates. That, that doesn't happen in hardcore. And <laughs> don't ask what I'm looking at right there, but I'm just hiding there so that my health regenerates. Uh, there... Uh, I always run Final Stand as my death streak, and just because you know you can get some kills from it, you survive, and if you if you survive, you get back up, and it doesn't count as a death. So why not run that kill streak? Uh, in my opinion, the best one that you can run, just because it keeps your kill streaks alive, and just um, it helps you out. And I know it's fun blowing somebody up with a drop grenade or C4 or, or something like that, but. I always run Final Stand, I always get a lot of people swearing at me for running it, but it's not like a perk anymore, which I'm glad they changed, because that was pretty frustrating, especially when you play hardcore, going against an entire team that is running Final Stand or Second Chance, whatever you want to call it. As you notice, prior to calling in that Predator, I was getting shot, though, and somebody took me out while I was calling in that Predator missile, and, and I'm really struggling this game trying to get anything going. You know, the one time early on when I did get it going, they shot down my helicopter right away, um, and usually I, I try to let my helicopter, you know, do some work and try to get me the AC-130, but I'm having trouble getting to it here. Now I'm sure you've noticed, but I'm running the G36 and I've got a red dot on it, and that's just because I've just unlocked it here recently. And uh, I like with the assault rifles, I like putting, 
silencers on them. Uh, I never used to do that in core game modes and, and whatnot, but, you know, because I always worried that it dropped the power down on them it, with the range and everything, but, um, you know, I don't really notice that. And boy, it really helps you for concealing when you're when you're killing somebody and whatnot. And I'm not sure what that guy was doing, <laughs> staring in the corner. But uh, I'm gonna get by, down by this cow and call this predator in. Oh, and there's three right there. Oh, nice, and I get them. Now this is the map that I got my Grim Reaper on, where he got five with one, five kills with one predator missile. And I always seem to do well with the predators on this map. It's just just really nice. All right, so I got my helicopter out. I know I'm stacking it up there towards the AC-130 and getting close. I think I only need one or two more. It's nice having that bar on the right that shows you that. Um, and there's my AC-130. So get a nice little streak going here. Now, um, I stink with snipers. Watch this. Uh, i got to line that up. <laughs> See how long it took me to line that up? That's why I do not snipe, just because I stink with them. You know, I think I'm just too old to use them. But I'm going to call in my AC-130. I know i got a helicopter out there right now. You know, sometimes that's a good thing to do, you know, call in your AC-130 while your helicopter's out there, and sometimes it's not a good thing. You know, it just depends on who you're playing with and, and against. Um, but I know this game's winding down, that's why I called it in right away. But, uh, as always, um, let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you get any advice for me or any tips or tricks that you want to share. And I'd love to hear um, what you'd like to see and, and whatnot. But there's the game, 7,500 to 5,200. I think I ended up 29 and 6. Uh, and I didn't get the final kill. I was hoping I would with that AC-130, but I uh, went away from it. As always, though, take care and God bless, and I uh, hope you guys and gals had a Merry Christmas.